Chapter 2 The Loss That Struck the Gregor Stones The next morning, Mr. and Mrs. Gregor Stone were looking at the paper, but they looked round the harbour first. That was when they had a shock hitting them. Claire, why is the shed door open and where's Ty Guy? He isn't working here this morning, Craig. They remembered the threat word and then realization hit them. He's escaped. They went to the car and started looking for him. Somewhere in Wales, Taikai arrived in the empty dock, looking out for Percy. He'd never been here before. Percy popped out. Hello, you must be Taikai. I've been waiting for you to find me in this hidden place. Hello, you must be Percy. My driver read your book. Thank you. Then he began to explain to him about why he was escaping. I've made a threat to the Gregorstones telling them they'll be sorry. The reason why they want an engine to run the harbours that they're wanting to keep it running and imprison every engine which is a problem to you. Now you've escaped, they'll be looking for you. Hiding place is down here. What is it? The Branch Line Station Upshop. We engines visited normally, but at times we have to hide in it so we can sort out the trouble. How are we going to get them to leave me alone so I wouldn't get dragged back to that harbour again? It's simple. You ought to get them to drive into a trap. I've got this hole i found. It's been mended. Mended, you might think, but it's a trap for chasers. Quickly now. Let's hide in the woods. Grab it to the upshot. In they went just as they heard the engine sounding. The crash of the car was sounded from their ears. It fell in the pothole Percy's crew dug up for them. Ah, oh, what the? They struggled out of the car. It was truly stuck, but they didn't care. All they cared was Tiger. They wanted back. That tram engine is going to be sorry for this, grumbled Mr. Gregorstone. Mrs. Gregorstone didn't speak. He looked down on her. She was lying dead. Her head was bleeding. The blow from the car crash had broken her nose. My wife! Someone, please! Someone please help! He cried out. Tiger, what are you doing? Turning around, Percy. Do I need to see? Percy and Tiger hiding in the woods. Ignoring 
Mr. Gregorstone's cry went on. They came to the station and stood waiting. Tiger began to tell Percy's tale. I was I was built on the day when my controllers were starting to go broke. They've been wanting to make money the wrong way. When I was young, they were imprisoning me. In the harbour, all of the steam trams were working, but weren't told until I told them this threat. The Gregor stones were using. They would scrap them either when they're finished or not finished working. That's when they went away. Toby left first and I was the last engine to run it. Although I tried, the Gregorstones are getting money, but they never get any big amount, so I say that harbour isn't safe with these gangsters. Yes, I quite agree, said Percy. That's why we have to wait for Mr. Gregorstone to come here. Nightmare Moon's waiting to give her target an unexpected surprise. So they watched, waited. As they had expected, the shot sounded. You're going to be mighty sorry, Tiger. End of chapter 2